How to set up workflows for Jira. Hey everyone and welcome. I hope you're all doing great. In this video, I'll showcase how to actually go ahead uh, and set up workflows for your projects in Jira. This is going to be starting from scratch. So I will show you from, from start to finish how to create workflows. So basically, let's just go over what workflows are and how they are going to help you. Uh, workflows are basically going to be the steps from start to finish for the specific task. So it's, uh, for example, at first it's a, um, let's say it's a draft and then moves to in progress, uh, or that kind of is the same thing, but you get the idea. So in progress, and then it is going to be completed and so on. So these are going to be the steps. This is a workflow. So it's, you can say it's the lifespan of a task. So I will show you actually from scratch how to create workflows uh, and you will need to be an admin within your Jira. So uh, make sure that this is available. And if you have that, you should be good to go. So first, let's actually go ahead and navigate to Jira software here and log in. Hold on. So my products and we go to Jira software. OK, so uh, like I said, you need to be an admin in order to uh, access this and be able to create the workflows for you and your colleagues and team members. So let me actually just go ahead and show you what I mean. So if we just go ahead and go for a project, uh, this one, for example, and we go to Kanban view or board view here, here's going to be a simple workflow. So we've got the to do uh, uh, in progress done and so on. So this is going to be the one that is being used right now. And if you want to create a custom one that is going to be more in depth and has more, uh, elements to it, you will need to create a unique workflow. So let's actually get to it. So, uh, to do so first, we will need to go to the settings here, and then we will need to go to issues from the Jira settings. We go to issues. We just click on that and then we can just go ahead and uh, navigate to the left uh, dashboard and click on workflows. Uh, and in here you should find if you have already projects in hand, uh, you should find, uh, especially if you have used templates before, you will find uh, active workflows already that are going to be applied to these um, uh, projects. Now those are going to be in here within the active workflows and you can also find stuff within the inactive. Uh, workflows, but this is not going to affect us much. What we are going to be focusing on is uh, this button right here, which is add workflow. So we will just need to click on that. And then here we have two options to use from uh, either create a new one from scratch, uh, which I'll be doing, or import from marketplace. Now, if we just click on import from marketplace, this actually could end up saving you time and you can try it out. And if you don't like it, you can go ahead and create one from scratch. But I just suggest that you go to this place right here and just find whatever, uh, whichever template you think is going to suit your needs. And like, for example, if you want to just a simple uh, Kanban kind of view workflow, uh, you can just use this one maybe and you can search for them as well. You can just click on select and you will need to assign some statuses to um, new ones. So I will show you what I mean. So here first give it a name so we can just keep it as that. We just click on next and here we'll, we will need to set up the uh, statuses because here we've got the original statuses from Jira and we will need to assign them to um, like new statuses. So the blocked we will just uh, it's automatically going to create a new status, which is the blocked status, which was not existing before. Uh, done is going to be for done in progress for in progress here in review. Uh, they created a new status, which is in review and so on. And you can just go ahead and click on next. Uh, and it's going to just pretty much create all of that for you. You just click on import. And that is actually going to change it for you. Now, I'm not going to do that. I will instead create one from scratch. So again, we will just go to workflows, click on add workflow and create new. So here we will just uh, need to give it a name. So we can just give it um, testing workflow. Now, make sure that you uh, let your colleagues know about this because this is, this is actually going to change 
the entire wor workflow for the system. So uh, the, the things that they have been working on, the statuses that they have been working on uh, for the time being will be changed. So they will need to actually, you know, adjust to the new changes. Here you can just give it a uh, description. Let's just say example here. Let me just go ahead and cl uh, click on create. We just give it a sec. It should redirect us to the place where we'll be able to uh, create the workflow. So here you can see the diagram here. So within the diagram, this is going to be the starting point. Uh, and this is it's basically going to lead to an open. So once uh, a task is open, basically this is going to lead to this, which is going to be the task is open and uh, people can actually, you know, assign it to uh, team members and stuff. So you can actually just either remove this or continue on from here. So basically, uh, to get started, what you want, would want to do first is add the statuses that you uh, want to have. So to do so, it's very simple. We just go ahead and click on uh, add status. And then here we can either create a new, completely new status uh, by just typing, or we can just select a pre-existing one. So we can just go ahead and see uh, which ones are uh, in here. Let me just go ahead and choose the draft one, for example. So let me just go ahead and select draft. Uh, and in here, I forgot to mention, or not forgot to mention, but here you can allow a specific status so that all statuses, once done, can tra transition to this one. So uh, we, we're not going to be using that right now, but you can uh, do this for each and every status if you want to, to have it uh, set up this way. So once a specific, or not specific, once any status is completed, it can actually transition to it. That's pretty much uh, what this option does. But we don't really need that. So we just add it without checking this. And you can change it later on, by the way. So if you do that by mistake, no problem. We just click on it, uh, click on add. And then we can just go ahead and drag it down whichever place we want. So we can just drag it down here. And you can see there are no incoming transitions to this status. Uh, obviously, you would want to um, add transitions later on. So let's just ignore that for now. And for the open, we can just actually just adjust this. And if you want to remove this for the time being, you cannot actually remove it because it is connected to the opening. Uh, but I will show you how to remove it uh, in a sec. So let me just go ahead and add more statuses here. Uh, let me add another status, which is going to be... Uh, let me see. So work in progress, we will need to add. So let me just add this one. Uh, again, you can just add as many as you want. So it's not limited. So you can add as many as you want. Uh, add status, maybe. Go ahead and add. Let me see, hold on. So let me actually uh, create a status that is going to replace this open one. So we don't want this. We want to remove it. As you can see, if we just click on remove, it's not going to let us because, again, it's connected to this. So if you want to replace this, you would want to have another one instead of it. So we can just create a status. And for this one, I will actually create a custom status. So let me just name it start for the sake of this tutorial and just select this. Uh, in here, we can just go ahead and click on add. And here is going to give us more options. We would give it a description if you want. Uh, here is the start of the task, for example. And then you will need to go ahead and select a category, uh, meaning it's either a to do, it's in progress, or it's done. Uh, since it's the start, we can just leave it as to do. And you can see the colors here outside. Uh, the other ones are going to be in progress. So they are going to be highlighted in blue. Uh, the first one, the open one, was gray. So it's a to do category. And then you've got the done, which is going to be in green. So let me just keep this as it is and click on create. And you can see now we've got this one uh, in here. And it's also gray, just like the open one. So again, if you want to now remove this one and have this one instead of it, uh, what we can do is select this transition. Let me just make it clearer. So we can just choose this transition, hold it, and then like from the arrow, and you can just move it to the start one. 
and click on save. This way we can actually just remove this one. Okay, so now you can see we've got the new one here instead of the open one. And we've got these other statuses as well. We can just keep them whichever place we want. Let me just put them right here. Like so. Okay, so now we've got draft work in progress. Let me add another status, for example. Um, uh, do, do, do. Maybe uh, under review. Uh, can just add that, put it to the right. And now we can do a few things. We would want to also add the done status. So we can just search for done and select it. Click on add and we should find it right here. Uh, so let's actually go ahead and start creating the transitions. So this one is going to um, transition to that. You can just either click on add transition and move it from, from this status to the other status. Uh, or what you can do is just click on these uh, cir circles around them and drag them to the next one. And you can just go, go ahead and it's going to already do the things for you. So from status draft to status work in progress, and you can give it a name, which is usually going to be the button that is going to switch from draft to work in progress. So uh, uh, maybe name it start progress or something like that. And if you want to add the screen to it, usually we don't do that unless it's uh, the finishing step. So we just click on add. And then we just go ahead and set this up over here. Uh, click on, just give it a name. Uh, start draft, maybe. Add, if you want to add the description, you can also do that. So here we can set this up with the other one, which, which is going to be under uh, review. Or actually, let me just remove this one, add another one instead. So I noticed I made a mistake beforehand. I had this transition from down to up. It should be the opposite. Make sure you start from this and drag it to the bottom and it should work and remove the red lining between. So I created the draft, had a transition, which I named it start a progress to the work in progress. And then I made another transition to awaiting approval. And then from awaiting approval, I made another transition to the done screen and uh, have it as public uh, publish. Now I will edit this. Actually, let me just remove it. I'll create it again for you. Uh, so to do so, we just drag and drop it to the done. And we just give it a name. So publish, for example, because this is, it should be done. And here we can actually add the screen. So uh, maybe add the uh resolve issue screen it should say that at the bottom okay so it's one of the, it's because the screen is a little bit the zoom there's there we go the resolve issue screen there you go we can just add this and we can just click on add and now we'll show you how it's going to look like in a sec so it's pretty much done now and we can also send it to draft if it's, you know, if it's not approved, we can just go ahead and move it to draft like so. And we can just name it to reject. And then, you know, they will need to work on it again. And we can add the description to it as well. So once this is completed, this whole workflow should be done. So to apply your workflow, you will need to go ahead and uh, exit out of here after you're done. We can just go to settings on the top right. We can go to projects. Uh, we can select the project that we want to apply it to, but some won't work. The new gen one, I guess uh, they don't have the options to change the workflows within them, but uh, the classical ones, they can work like this one. So you can just click on here, uh, project settings, and then we go to workflows. On the left uh, menu here, we can just find workflows. And then we can just go ahead and uh, click on add workflow, add existing. And then we will should find the name of the workflow that we have just created. So this one, testing workflow. And we can just go ahead and set, uh, click on next. Uh, and we can just go ahead and select the, the ones that we want to apply. And we can just click on finish. 
because you know we already have a template working so we actually need to assign those as well so here it should be completely working uh and it should be applied now it shouldn't like if you have already a template with a specific workflow that is going on it can cause some sort of like you would need to take or pay more attention to those elements that are existing uh like the statuses that are already uh in there but um usually it should work and you should find to do and progress done and it should change if it's not you know there are problems within the template and stuff so it shouldn't be a problem if you started from scratch without a template you just apply the workflow and it shouldn't really give you any problems and the other problem is uh, that if you are using a newer type of project template, it's also not going to work for this. For example, this one, uh, if we just click uh, click on it and then we just uh, actually go to view all projects. And for example, we just click on project settings. You should you would not be able to find uh, the workflow option here, which is not really uh, you, you wouldn't really be able to, you know, adjust the workflows from here you would want to actually you know do it manually from within here and stuff unlike the classical ones where you can just create a workflow like we did and apply it to that within the uh, project settings so with that being said that's pretty much how to create a workflow from uh, or using jira it's very simple and easy uh, just make sure that the template that you're using is going to work well with the workflow that you have created and that's pretty much it. I hope you liked this video and thanks for watching.